What up, Fudger Nation? We're back with another episode of Sneaker Fudger's Fast Break. For today, we're going to discuss a very hot topic, sa, especially for the NBA cards uh, collector industry. It's about uh, fanatics taking over Panini uh, as the NBA cards uh, producer and distributor uh, starting 2026. So for this episode, we have a very special guest, uh, an expert in this matter, uh, a good friend of ours as well. So uh, let's introduce him in, in a while. Uh, this is your host, H. Mamba. This is Martin Andrew. And this is Big Daddy G. And now, so ito nga siya. So ito ang ating special guest. So since uh, college, uh, colleague ko to, and uh, one of my brother from another mother. So, <laughs> as a Dubai, very uh, dati mag, uh, basketball and sneaker and everything, fantasy, fantasy, uh, NBA fantasy, uh, OG ng uh, commissioner ng mga NBA fans, the OG commission, yeah. and now kanyang bagong <laughs> uh, inaanong uh, venture ng NBA cars. So, so expert siya dito. Uh, let, uh, introduce to you, happy. Yes. Hello, Sneaker Fudgers. <laughs> Thank Whoa. you for uh, inviting me. Pero hindi ako expert. <laughs> uh, anong tawag din eh? Uh, ano lang, uh, I started collecting cards and then uh, learning from the market and also the the people who collects as well. So, yeah, happy to share whatever I have. Then let's see. <laughs> All right, Ayon. So Ayon. So the reason why we brought you in today is because, as you know, I guess as well, yun nga, a fanatics-based company is taking over the rights to to distribute and produce the, these NBA cards from Panini. Um, ever since two thousand nine, um, Panini has been like known to be the 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 main distributor. And now, starting to 2026, they, they cra- Panini has cracked a deal to take, take it over. So the question now is, what happens? Because we know that the NBA card industry is a, is a, huge, uh, is a huge industry uh, with a lot of money involved. So what will happen to the current card holders ng Panini? Lalo na may mga rare, like you. Mm. Actually, feeling ko from... Uh, so 2016 when the transition will come uh, I think wala masyadong for me personally kasi there would still be another card which will produce and distribute at the same time however for the rare cards for the rare cards I think it will gonna value a little bit but not so high because <clears throat> like nangyari din to noon dati um, may mga tops and then FLIR dati, di ba, na kinokollect tayo. So, that time, actually, hindi naman yung transition yung nag Although, merong parang uh, uh, effect na it's an old card, it's a vintage because tops ang nagproduce, it's not producing anymore. But, still, the uh, player valuation pa rin yung magmamatter tsaka yung population ng card. Eh. Kasi, it's rare, then it's the player is very like uh, collect. Uh, how should I say? Parang ano? Uh, ma- maraming taong nagko collect dun sa player na yun. So I think yun yung pinaka mag matter pa rin sa sa ano yun ang cards. Pero for the collectors, I think it will gonna be the same. It's just another brand that will take over and. Hopefully they will do better than the than the Panini uh, cards. But yeah, it's a good, like an exciting what will happen in that moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agree, agree. <laughs> okay. And and okay. and maybe sharing uh um from my own experience then as an uh, NBA card collector. But way way back pa yun nga kagaya ng oh. ni Papi H na um uh, tops mga FLIR. So naabutan ko pa yung ano yung steel series yung parang may um yung cards is uh, yung 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 framing niya or yung background niya is parang um tama ba yung steel na flooring so yun uh, actually i have collected mm. yung um yung Chicago Bulls era yung big three nila Jordan Rodman Pippen so 
um considering this ano rin no uh, i mean i agree with 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 that um thought from from Papi H na hindi talaga magma-matter pag dipat doon sa uh, bagong manufacturer no tama ba manufacturer to yung um fanatics dis- yung fanatic distributor distributor, yeah, yeah. distributor or manufacturer. manufacturer kasi um i mean it, it it's gonna be a challenge for them how to how to come up with those different uh, var- variations do sa mga cards na i-release niya saka it really matters pa rin yung sa mga value ng mga players uh, like i've been seeing um posts from social medias uh, yung Luca card na mataas yung value diba so it 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 really kumbaga yung market will still be there kumbaga ito lang talaga yung 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 transition lang from panini to to fanatics maybe ikaw ba G ano bang ano mo dito take mo dito eh sa akin nga tama naman yung sinabi nga parang akala ko rin kasi is magiging value nga kasi magiging rare na siya eh kasi hindi na siya magpo-produce so really boils down talaga sa sa mga player or sa mga stats nila usually ito nga yung nag nagcollect din ako ito nga si Happy Trineco so I'm collecting nga uh, Lamelo Ball yeah, si Happy yung kin- yung yung uh, collect mo ah si Lamelo <laughs> <laughs> Nene, nee, sila si ata si Lamelo. So, yun nga, mataas ang value ng rookie, uh, rookie card nga. Kasi parang inisip ko ang card kasi once yung mga hindi na siya pinoproduce, mas nagmamahal siya. Pero siyempre, parang uh, directly proportion pa rin siya sa value talaga. So, yeah, uh, I totally agree with what uh, Big Daddy G said. So, um maybe in in addition to that uh, sa facts na um na mention earlier ni H Mamba. Uh, with regards dun sa tweet which yung nakikita na lead sa right side natin, um, from the transfer to Panini, from pa- Panini to Fanatics this coming 2026, uh, this will give um, equity to the league, to the NBA itself, and of course to NBPA. Doon sa mga players, syempre, kumaga magkakaroon na sila ng, ng, ng equal shares doon sa mga um, pag, sa, sa pagbebenta, sa, sa, ano, sa, sa kikitain. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, sa kikitain nun. So, this is like a you know considering to be a big big uh, move for the players itself for the money NBA players then, itself. No? money yes. move mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes all right so ayun i think that's all it right. for our, our uh, special episode ng ating SFP's fast break and of course thank you papi h for um uh, lending us your time sharing your knowledge dito sa nba card Universe, NBA Cards Universe. Uh-huh. Maraming maraming Society, salamat. You know? Okay, before, thank you, Ben. Yeah, before we, before we finish the, the segment, Papi H, baka meron ka dyan sa auto mo ngayon ng mga cards mo dyan uh, ready to, mm-hmm. ano, ready to, ready to deal para sa mga watchers. Uh, uh, hindi to akin, pero nagpakuha lang ng, ano, ng cards nila. Yung si Papi Jonil ba yan? Ooh. So, meron... Shout out kay Papi Johnny. <laughs> Papi Johnny. <laughs> oh, so, ito si... Yeah, na, nakapul, nakapul kasi siya ng RJ Hampton Auto All sa right. isang break All right. ng box. Pag box break. So, tapos mga silver. Ha, puro RJ Hampton yung nakuha niya. <laughs> The Hamptons. So, yun. Ito. <laughs> And, uh, actually, may may future, pero... Let's, let's see. see. <laughs> Yan ang maganda sa NBA cards, eh. Parang stocks. So, ik- ano, ha, meron kang mga ano, baka meron kang gustong mga uh, i-promote or i-plug na mga ano mo, sa uh, about in sa mga NBA cards mo. Sa venture, sa NBA trading. Uh, yeah, actually, NBA. ano lang, meron lang kaming uh, small group sa Middle East. Sa actually, uh, Dubai, Qatar, tapos marami rin, Kuwait and a few sa Saudi. May group kami, nice. the Trade Pod. So, Uh, search nyo lang sa Facebook tapos uh, free, you're free to share any any cards, anything you want about the card so mm. yan, yun lang <laughs> ayos yan for interested uh, sa, sa Philippines pwede rin dyan, I mean makatrade yun oh, or buy open it naman siya o- open naman siya, pero the market is ano, uh, more on the Middle East so kung nice. gusto nila makipag-trade Uh, just willing to ship the cards <laughs> from Philippines. Oh, that's so. nice. That's or, nice, or yun. Gusto nila parang i-share lang or parang natutuwa lang sila sa cards sila and they want to share to everybody including Middle East uh, collectors. Pwede rin. 
they're open open kami all right so that's it uh we want to discuss more but uh apparently the, the time is short for now any any interested john just just feel free to contact us we can connect you to happy so thank you again happy for for joining and sharing your expertise thank to you yes, uh, thank you uh, and lastly uh Remind lang natin yung ating Fudger Nation na don't forget to comment down below sa mga interested <laughs> na, ayun nga, uh, with regards to this topic, this NBA card universe. So, comment na kayo dyan, pag-usapan natin. And uh, as uh, G always uh, says, don't forget to hit that or smash that uh, like, notif, bell button para ma-notify kayo sa aming mga releases. Okay? So, uh, yes, that's it for another uh, episode ng ating SFP right. Fast Break. This is again Martin Andrew. Big Daddy G. The Sage Mamba. And Happy. <laughs> in the Middle East. Sakto, nasa Middle Thank East you. si Papi. Peace <laughs> in the Middle East. Sakto. Okay, you. <laughs>